I think the blessing I've had in my life is to start playing with four people and then play with five and then six and then 15 and sometimes 200. And uh, coming from a big family, I remember once we had a period where we didn't have f the food we were eating. It was like beans and, you know, it was always stuff that people who don't have a lot eat that. So once we're eating something and I was complaining to my older brother Branford about, you know, I, I want more. And he took something off of his plate and put it on mine. And he said, now we have more. And we were kids and we both laughed about it. But, you know, in jazz, jazz allowed for many more great people. Because if you could learn how to play an instrument, you could be documented and your, your brilliance could. I was thinking this morning when I was listening to that Kenny Durham record, Tete Montelieu's piano playing. And I, I didn't know who it was. I had played with Tete and I knew him. But, you know, he's from Spain. And I thought, damn, who was playing all this piano? And then when I realized it was Tete, I thought the beauty of jazz is that there are so many great people who on any given solo can manifest something you never thought of. It's not reduced just to the people who are famous or the people you know. It's like life. In any day or in any moment, a person can lift you up and show you another way to view the world. But suffice it to say that music from all over the world is connected. And, and it, it, it is. It's just a matter of figuring out where are those intersection points that you can understand. I mean, if you could actually hear the music and understand what the great musicians like, uh, you take your pick, and you know, it could it could be of the ones I've known. They they were all dipped in rainbow dust. Like if you could have known John Lewis or Sweet Edison or Jerry Mulligan. Or, or Dave Brubeck, if you could have known them and what their aspirations were for the world. And it's also reflected in the younger musicians we have now. And I could talk about them. No, nobody knows their names, but they're Sean Mason and Joe Block. And if you know them as, as even as younger people and the spirit they have and the feeling that comes out of them, and, and Chris Lewis, and Nicole Glover, and, you know, they just... It's something in the music. It, it's it's a, it's a thing. It's, it's palpable, but it's also very etheric. It's very ephemeral. The, the actual, it is reduced. It's put into the Western construct of a great person, but that's not the meaning of the music.